Hello everybody, like to hear, welcome to the channel and thank you for stopping by. Today, on Friday the 24th of July, I am on Festival Leisure Park, as you can see. If we take a quick look there, we can see the tower peeking out behind the Bannertines building. I'll just come out again a little bit. And we're here at this end because we're just going to take a look at the work that's going on over here. This bit is going to be, as I said in my last Festival Leisure Park video, it's going to be the new entrance to the new bingo hall. So, instead of being just car park, down here is where the entrance will be. And if we look, we just find the right spot. There, you can see that is going to be the outline going down there for the new driving entrance. Just have a little look at this end because this is a much better view. If we look at that at this side, you can see the whole thing there, much better view. So this is where the people will drive in. That is how the bath will go. So they'll drive in there to the entrance. The wall's there right now obviously, but that will be changed. And down there, down to the top. And they turn right at the Odeon and drive down to the new bingo hall when it's done. Work's been halted, but from the sounds of it, work has started up again. So we are going to walk around the corner now and take a look at the new bingo hall and what progress is being made on the build. So here we are at the edge of the building now and you can see that the panel work is going up and in one of my very earlier videos I said I was sure that the end result would match the colour scheme of the Odeon and Bannertines in that sand and blue colour but apparently not. This one the panel work is going to stay grey and there's going to be bits of pink in it and anyone that knows me knows that I love pink, so yay pink. And as I talked about in my previous video, just to give you folks a reminder, at this end of the building there's going to be a giant smoking shelter. It's going to run from around here to probably around here. So it's going to be quite big. So there's going to be a smoking shelter there. All this bit here where people are driving now, this is going to be part of the bingo car park because as I said earlier in this video, the entrance is going to be over there. So all this is going to be part of the car park, all the bit along here where it's obviously all the rubble right now that's also going to be part of the car park on the corner is going to be a bike shed we've got Frankie and Benny so over there closed the notice on the door says temporarily closed I have heard that this one is going to close permanently but I can't say for sure with 100% certainty just that I've heard it is going to close permanently. So as we walk further down the side, you can get a better view of where the bike sheds will be. And now we're going to walk round and take a look at the front and then the other side and then the back and then we'll be done with this update. You can see inside from here actually, it's clearing up. 
if I zoom in. There isn't really a lot to see inside because it's all obviously bare and flat, but we can see inside at least a little bit. Anyway, let's zoom out. Again, we'll take a look at the sign as we go past. You can see the front of the brickwork there. Nothing to see there because the bindweed's taken over the fence. There's a good bit because I can just about reach. So you can see the outer brickwork on the bottom of the building is looking done. The inner breeze blocks are there, so that side is waiting for the panelling. So that is the Rigby Road side of the building. And, and finally, here we are now on the corner that is the Salt House Avenue side of the building. I can't really film from Salt House Avenue because the wall's too high and I'm too short. So that's the Salt House Avenue side. And finally, this is the back of the building, which is the Kent Road side. So there you go. That is the back. And I'm guessing at the back there'll probably be more car park. So there we have it. That is the newest update on the new bingo hall. Again, it's right next to the Odeon. The Odeon is there. And that is the back of the building. And when it's done, if you come in here, the entrance will be at the far end alongside McDonald's. We're at the end of the video now, so thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a comment. Please, please subscribe. And I'll see you folks in the next video. Goodbye.